a gorgeous vare. Meaning, assuming a colossal form, you annihilated the demons and accomplished Sri Ram's mission. This Chopai title is Beat the Barriers. Hanumanji's colossal form depicts the firm res- res- resolute of a seeker for annihilating the inner vices. Hanumanji does not attain this colossal form for any selfish motive of acquiring fame, wealth or power. He does it exclusively for Sri Ram. For accomplishing Ram Kaj, Hanumanji can assume a minuscule, ferocious or colossal form. He would tactically accept defeat, get tied up, would win or set himself free. In any case, the bottom line is always the accomplishment of Ram Kaj. Remaining in a tiny form is Hanumanji's humility and acquiring a colossal form is unchangeable self-esteem. One can perceive the presence of both the traits simultaneously in a true devotee. Though a devotee has higher self-esteem, his humility is beyond compare. Also, Sita is an icon of pure devotion and God's bliss. Hanumanji becomes minuscule in front of her. Whereas Ravan being a symbol of a bloated ego and evil desires, Hanumanji becomes colossal and grows as tall as the sky in front of him. Chopai 9 and 10 prove beyond doubt that Hanumanji is in a state of readiness to attain any form for the accomplishment of Ramkaj. He will leave no stone unturned for his noble cause. Let obstacles not destroy your enthusiasm. Instead, destroy obstacles with your enthusiasm. The management principle, the poet King Badduhari has an apt message for modern managers. Prabhdate nakalu vigna bayana nechita payabha vigna vihata viramanti maida. Vignay puna punarapi priyantam yamana praya chota manajana ya parityadani. The low ones do not even begin a task fearing an obstacle. The middle ones, having embarked on an endeavor, stopped when interrupted by a barrier. Higher ones never forsake a mission once begun, even in the face of repeated obstacles. Let's go to Chopai number 11.